Hi guys, and welcome to another C64 Sunday. Today we're going to be playing game number 63, Seven Cities of Gold. This game had a score of 8.42 at the time that we logged in our top 100. And it's one of the classic adventure games from back in the day. It's one of the first uh, games where you are trying to discover the new world set during the Age of Exploration. This game was developed by EA, as you can tell by the tiny bit of load screen I let you see. Um, the graphics were done by somebody unknown. If you know who did the graphics for this game, it'd be interesting. Dan Bunting, Bill Bunting, Jim Rushing, and Alan Watson all did the programming and development of this game. Roy Glover did the music that you hear right now. Now, I'm going to hit F7 to start getting the game going here. Um... And we'll talk a little bit as the game loads about the game itself. It's a fairly simple game, but back in the day I was terrible at it because I had no idea what I was doing. You can go one of two routes. You can try to peacefully trade with the natives. Um, or you can try to conquer them. And if you do the right things, you might be able to turn them, uh, convert them to... I'd imagine Catholicism, because they were from Spain, and turn them into a mission, which makes them a little more friendly, obviously. Um, to kill the natives, you just simply move into them, though, and a few accidental killings are acceptable to the village, and sometimes they're not, you know, you can't do anything about them. So they kind of programmed it in that they're okay that you just killed three people. You kill too many, and they'll become hostile and attack you. Um, most of the time, you can kind of fight them off, and that lets you plunder the town afterwards. Um, but I'm not sure what I'm really going to do. It really depends on if I accidentally pop too many guys in the first um, village or not. But we'll try to bring enough food, we'll try to bring some goods, we'll try to give them gifts, and... Um, See what happens. My main goal in this um, in this playthrough is going to be, and I'm going to insert my um, world disc here real quick. And hit F7 to begin a new quest. Okay, is my joystick working? Yes, perfect. Okay. So, um, I'm going to be trying to get to where I live in North America, which shouldn't be too hard. The court has finally granted you an audience. Perhaps after so many years, you will have your own expedition. Very good. So, um, you get scores. Oh, there you go. The court loans you 2,000 gold. Promise to find a new world and return with gold and glory for the crown. Ahead lies the unknown. It is your chance to find fame and fortune. Expedition includes four ships, 100 men, 52 weeks of food, 300 trade goods. Alright, so here's how it starts. You go to the palace to make reports. There's the pub. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just rest there. Oh man, you gotta walk all the way up there. See, this is where you save the game. Press the button to continue. This is home. You may recognize the symbol above as a symbol from Mule. Stay here, and it tells you sort of what you've done so far. It's a new day. The sun is rising on a new day. Full of promise for the future. History waits to be made. Its shape is in your grasp. We have the outfitter, which we're going to pop into real quick. We're going to grab a little bit extra food. Actually, we're going to grab a few extra goods. And some extra food. We should be good to go. Uh, head onto our ship, and we'll start heading to the new world. There we go. You are ready to begin your journey. You are west of the Canary Islands. Further west is the unknown, where you hope to find the new world. The king has sent his best wishes for the success of your venture. Oh, that's good. He lent us money and doesn't want us to fail. So we're going to get going here. Um, You're pretty much just... You're trying to find the way to go. 
I'm going to head a little bit north um, from normal because, like I said, I want to get to where I live, and I live a little bit north. Hopefully we don't crash into too many um, storms on our way over here. And as you can see, once the game is loaded, it's not too bad. Although, you have a very small viewport for the actual gameplay. Let's see if we can't find the new world pretty soon. You know, we can always um, head up the coast afterwards if we need to. Or, um, you know, do a little bit of discovering first, get more uh, success before we even head to where I where I live. I've never really had success with a peaceful part of this game, but that's because I'm normally pretty bad at not popping guys. So I'm going to be very careful when I walk through the game this time. Um, there's not a lot to be said about this part. This is taking a little longer than expected. I might have wanted to put it in turbo mode. The I watched the game play through itself once on turbo mode. You could put it into um, observer mode where you watch the computer play. And it beat the game within like 30 seconds. I think it used cheat hacks because he went over to North America twice and went to the same village four times and suddenly discovered all of North America. I'm not quite sure how that worked because he just walked in and beat guys up a bit and then left. And suddenly he had tons of gold and took it over. I don't know if it was... Oh, look at this. There's like a little island here. All right, that means we're getting close to something. But what? It's kind of hard to tell with these little tiny islands what they might uh, what they might be. But there's something going on. Ah, so you can lock in your sailing, and here we can view the map. We're 20 degrees north. That's not very far. But you can see that we found there is some land to the left of us here. Um, we're just going to resume movement. The more stuff you find, the better it is. I don't know why our speed is down to half. Okay, so here we go. There's some land here. We'll go up this way until we, ah, perhaps find a village. Let's drop stuff off. We're going to take, clearly not ships, although we could. Which is kind of weird. Um... I'm going to go ahead and take, like, I don't know, 50 men. We got an awful lot of food here. Yeah, we can only take 10 food, regardless. I think it's regardless of how many men you have. Yeah. But you can see as we take men off the ship, it becomes worth um, more and more food for our expedition to go back home with. We're going to go ahead and put 50 men. We're going to take... Uh, we'll go with 5 food and a whole bunch of goods here. You know what? 200 goods is probably good. We don't even know how good this town's going to be. Steve. Alright. We have discovered a new world. What lovely music. And keep going cautiously through the swamp. All right, we've discovered a hunting tribe. Now they'll keep coming towards you, but they'll also keep moving away from you. As you can see, so if you move slowly, they kind of get out of your way. If you touch one, he will pop. Um, if you're trying to find your way to the chief, oh, here we go, we can trade. We must talk to the chief, sir. So we have to find our way to the chief before we can talk. The easiest way to kind of get there the quickest is to go ahead and amaze the natives. They're like, holy crap, you can turn gray? That's amazing. So they get away from you for a little bit. It lets you get a little closer in. But if we manage to pull this off, yeah, we got around the big crunch of them there. All right, so we'll be able to tell where the chief is because he'll have a larger headdress than the rest. So hopefully we can keep from popping anybody before we find him. This is, oh, see, we popped one. See, they're not, they're not easy to amaze anymore. They've seen our trick of turning gray. So we kind of have to just peacefully let them watch us. Oh, that must be him there. He's not moving. Oh, uh, are we close enough? Nope. But we have a bunch of goods and stuff. Let's, let's 
do this offer gift. Hopefully they like that. Great. Here we go. Wow, all they have is food. Well. Oh no, I have a bunch of goods. Okay, so I can take a, let's say I need some food with me here. Apparently their food weighs less than our food. There we go. We'll take that. We'll leave. Now we're out of that village. That village has no gold. Let's go a little bit inland here. It is possible to be ambushed. Um, but this will let us discover a little bit of what's going on. Like, what's this, uh, what's this river here? You move pretty quick on it. Discover another village. The farming village. Alright, guys. Getting a little bit close here. Maybe that'll make you keep your distance. Gift there. Time to amaze them. Move out the way. Whoops. All right, they're closing in again here. Hopefully we're kind of going in the right direction. Don't wanna have to pop too many of them. All right. That hut's a good sign. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Maybe that will make them realize I'm not trying to murder them. Jeez, can I maze them again? Nope. This is not going to go well. They're pretty much walking into me now. Um. Oh, what's this? What's this bee? Talk to the chief. All right. Leave me alone and look at the gift. No, you're gonna get you're gonna get bopped if you come in too close to me. Come on, guys. Think this through. There's the chief. Chief want gift, no trade. Okay, offer gift. I was a little bit racist, but hey, they have tons of gold. How much does gold cost? One good? Shoot, man. Give me that gold. Take a little bit of food too. Let's get out of here. Alright, so this is uh pretty good for us, actually. I'm gonna follow this river through to the end. Ah, we discovered the source of a minor river. And if we come back up to here, there's one more village. I wonder... Follow this river, we might find another source. Very good. We're doing lots of discovery now. Got one more village to go into here. And then that river should take us to the back to the shore we were from. Farming tribe. Okay, let's rush through this time. Get past... All this stuff. There's the bee. I don't know what the bee actually is. Offer gifts. You don't have goods. Trade. Oh. Shoot. Well, we actually have zero goods. I didn't realize we had zero goods left. Let's leave. Alright, well we know there's another river right here that we'll be able to find. Yeah, we discovered the mouth. And right down here is our Wheat chip. Yeah, so we discovered sort of the northern tip of Florida, I suppose. Here we go, into the ship. Okay, so we are going to take a bunch more goods and drop off a bunch more golds. We're just gonna head up to this village right here. It's gonna be super close. This is gonna be awesome. All right. All right, let's see if we can sneak past them again. Not really sneaking past them, but their honor guard that they're giving us, or whatever they want to call it, their curiosity is pretty annoying. Amaze the natives. Can't offer gift. Trade. We converted the natives. The chief asked us to make a mission here to receive his tribute. Oh, there you go. Ah, we have new, now we have two native bearers per man. We take gold. Take food. We leave. 
All right, that's mission now. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead because we've got quite a bit of food and all that jazz. Let's go ahead, hit up the ship, put everything in it that we can. There we go, finally made it back in. Oh, do you know what? We gotta... The more men you have here, the faster you can move the food. <laughs> if you take the men off first, that's no good. All right. Tons of room for gold. Tons of room for goods. Let's go ahead and leave. Let's head a little bit north here. There we go. There's a little bit of a medium here. We can use that to get back out to sea. And... Oh, I thought I saw something there, but I was clearly mistaken. All right, we're going to try to head further north. Now, this is no uncharted waters, but it's still got something going on for it. Let's uh, drop stuff off here. We'll take 60 men with us this time. Bunch of, uh, not that much food. We only need like four food, maybe. Now, because we got on the ship, we lost our carrying helpers. But that's okay, because there's a village this close, we don't need that much food. Same tribe. Okay. Can we manage to get around them? Not quite. All right, let's um, go ahead and maze them. Use that skill to get past. We can move our speed up a little bit. That makes it a little easier to get past them. Oh, we don't want to go reckless. That's how you get your sword out. Oh, we went too high up. No, we're gonna have to do the slow walk. He's gonna be right in the middle of this area though. Oh. Offer gifts. Trade. Very good. Take a little bit of food and leave. All right, let's just get the heck out of here. I think it's time to head, well, no, we still have tons of goods. Hmm. I guess we could have been discovering more on the inside, but let's go ahead and work our way back up the coast more. We want to have as much discovery as possible when we go back, don't we? Hey, look, we're going to discover the mouth of a river. And the rivers are, as we've seen, pretty good ways of getting guys around. So let's, let's take 50 guys this time. Buy food. All the goods. Yeah, food. There we go. Yep, and of course, right away there is a village. But let's save that village for on our way back from the end of the river, which wasn't very far away. All right, he's right up there. I don't have to bother amazing them. Can we trade from here? Yeah, we gotta get closer. No trade, oh no! This is not good. All right, these guys already don't like us. We're taking them out. Listen, we were just trying to talk to your chief and you all suddenly bunched up against us. You brought this on yourself. My sword is clearly superior to your spears. I keep them from hitting me from behind. I think that uh, main way that you don't take too much damage. Eventually it will tell us that we've killed their leaders and that uh, that they're going to run away. Oh, we're almost there. It's slowing down. There we go. So, we've defeated the natives, sir. We may take what we want as tribute. And we now have one native bearer per man. That's terrible. 
They only had eight gold. Well, take ten food and go on a little adventure. Oh, this is what can happen though. Need of ambush. All right, let's just try running away. Guys, we don't want to fight. Let us leave. Up this way. Ooh. Perhaps this is a major river. Perhaps it's not. There is a tribe up here, though. We probably could have sailed up to it instead, but now that we've got some extra carriers. Okay, let's go ahead. Start with an amazing, just to try to keep from hurting anybody. Out of the way, guys. Shoot. Do not walk into me. Do not walk into me. Guys, come on. Maybe if I leave and come back and drop a gift down. No, I offered you gifts. Stop! Stop walking into me! Sorry for what I did. Jeez. Okay. Situation has calmed down. I don't have very many goods. But perhaps if we just walk very slowly up towards your chief, we can make this work. Huh? All right, let's all, let's all move along. You know, we're trying the peaceful approach this time. We used up almost all our goods trying to get you guys not to kill us. Seems to be working. But you want to stand awfully close to me. Where the heck is your chief? Frick! Gotta be near her. Hang out at the gift instead of at me. Let me leave. All right. You know what, guys? We tried. We tried to be nice. We tried to make peace. And it did not work out at all. So, yeah, you better get out of here. Jeez. We can leave. We can leave men in the. Oh, we can turn it into a fort. Ah, that's what that does. Okay, let's go ahead and leave like 20 men here. Oh, that's a mission. That's a fort. Seems like there's a magic number that turns it into a mission. 20. Okay, we'll turn it into a mission. We'll leave them with 100 days food. We're taking all the gold. I want the gold. Give me the gold. All right, let's go ahead and get back to our... I should have known that when that guy said that, we could when we traded with him, he said turn us into a mission. We could have. Oh, well. It is now time to head back. Oh, I did that again. Move everything across. There's not too bad there's not a move all button. But we have more food than when we left. We're only 82% full, but hey. So let's Let's go ahead and view the map. We're 30 degrees north. Yeah, we gotta go a lot more north. I'm pretty sure. Get where I want to go. You can lock in um, moving when you're in this mode, which is important. So let's uh, talk a little bit about what people thought about this game. C64 Games, back in January 23rd of 2010, gave this game uh, a top rating of 9. 
and 6,157 people said they were down with it. Game Base 64 in 1998 said it was a classic and gave it a 10. Rombatch um, in 1984 called it creme de la creme, which of course means cream of the cream. Uh, it gave it a 10 as well, and cultboy.com gave this game an 8.8 .8 back in 2010 as well. Um, as you can see, the gameplay is pretty simple. It's all just about discovering stuff. Um, you can actually download a map of the New World if you wanted to. We're going to try to get up to the St. Lawrence and take that, take that down if we can. You have returned home to Spain. Crowds gather to hear your tales and see the many wonders you have brought from across the sea. So, step one. We're going to go to home. See how well we're doing so far. We've discovered 3% of the land, 2% of the rivers, 3% of the natives, 0 mines, and 0 special. We have 2 missions now and a wealth of 160. We have 1 lives. Go ahead to the palace. The crown is pleased with your discovery. You are granted a loan of 3,000 gold pieces to continue your work. Since the last visit to court, your performance has been poor. What? Your overall rating has been poor? Boo! Hiss boo! Look at this parallax scrolling we got going on though. Yeah, I don't want to save because if I save I have to resume my journey later. We do need to get some more goods though. Let's crank the goods to the max. Look how many goods we can carry now. I think we're good. We can actually get more ships if we want to. And we're going to bring our men back up to 100 if we can. Oh, we can't afford any men. Well, we should be able to. What? Uh, men also take up room. That explains a lot. Okay. Well... Yeah, we gotta have five ships now. What we've done. But perhaps that should be good. So, where did it stick us this time? 20 degrees north. So let's just head straight north for a little bit. Actually, no, we'll, we'll head on the angle. See how far we can go. Let's see what some of the critics might have said about this game back in the day. Seven Cities of Gold actually won the Strategy Game of the Year from Computer Gaming Worlds uh, 1985 Reader Poll. Oh, shoot. All right, so we want to hit as few as this as possible. We can maybe snick through here. All right, we didn't do too bad. We almost missed that storm. If we were a little further north, we would have. Um, and it sold over 100,000 copies. In 1984, Compute called Seven Cities a riveting adventure game, a, graphic, a graphically enhanced strategy game that challenges and educates as well as entertains, and noted the ability to generate new maps, which was very important to the game. 1985, Computer Compute's Gazette reviewer wrote, This exceptional game left him, let him fulfill his childhood fantasy of exploring the Amazon. Fantasies and worlds to explore, what more could you want? And in 1990, Computer Gaming World gave the game four stars out of five, stating it remains a classic. In 1993, the mag magazine gave it three plus stars, which I don't know what a plus star is, but it got it. The land is it's getting a little more shallow here. Let's uh, view the map. What do we have going on here? Nothing. All right, but we're 40 north now, so we're further north before. Yeah, see, what do you mean nothing? The crash. 50 degrees north. And look, the trees are brown instead now. Let's see if we can't figure out where we are a little better by just following the coast. Like I said, we want to kind of get up to where we can get into the St. Lawrence River. Is that where we've discovered? It could very well be. Let's 
Let's give this map a view. Yeah, who knows? That might be that might be Newfoundland right there. I don't know. It might be worth going on to that, because if it is Newfoundland, there'll be two um villages. Let's throw ten men down. More than ten men. Forty, just in case we run into trouble. Buy food and a whole heck of a lot of goods. We can get the men moving a little faster here. Moderate's not too bad. A whole heck of a lot going on here. Oh, there's a village. Oh, we should have seen this from the other part. It's not a very big village either. Hunting tribe, okay. And these guys haven't heard of us before. Okay, we're cautious. Let's, let's go ahead. Maze them. Get away. While we're amazed, let's try to trade. We might have successfully been peaceful for once. All right, offer gifts. Here we go. We're going to take their 16 gold. Take some of their fancy food. All right, leave. All right. So, so far, so good. I think this might actually be Newfoundland. Not too bad. Yeah, there's another village. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and amaze them right away. Get out the way. Gotta move quickly while they're amazed. You guys back off. You guys back off. Come on. I wanna get to your chief. Why do you gotta I gotta why you gotta stand so close to me? I think he's in this direction. Alright, he should be in between these huts, I'd hope. Yeah, there he is. Alright, come on. Are we close enough to trade? Yes. Alright, we'll take all your gold too. We don't need your food. I think we've discovered enough of this land. I don't know that there's necessarily any mines in the mountains here. Let's go ahead and make our way back to the ship. 20 gold is nothing to scoff at. Oh, don't do that. There, that's how you do it quickly. Although, then you have to move the men too. Let's sail away. Hopefully, it, you know. So if I'm right, that's PEI, and then up in here will be a way in. Oh, looks like it might be going the right way here. Oh, there's a village. But you know what we'll do? Stop here. Take 50 men with us. Take five food. Oh, maybe we'll only take four foods. So we can just take some more goods. There we go. We'll come check this village out. And then we'll head up that river. Hunting tribe, of course. Okay, this is not a bad spot to start. But which side do we need to go to? Oh, I chose poorly. Can we make it through there fast enough? Yep. Yes, enough of them spawn behind us. Well, we're going to get eight food, but we're going to take... Or eight goods, but we're going to take a bunch of food. All right, we should be able to... Hey, we discovered the mouth of a major river. 
Oh, it's starting to get cold. Look, it's snowing. Shoot. Can we outrun the snow? This might not have been a good plan. Hey, there's a town right there. Hit that town up on the way back. So we really can't outrun the snow. And I do not think this is the river that I thought it was. However, this should do something for us. Oh. Why didn't you discover something? Discover a hunting tribe. Okay, let's go ahead and maze the natives. So to get up through them here. Which way? This way is probably the right way. Yes. Oh, perfect. Oh, look at all this gold. All right, let's go ahead and view the map. Hmm. Maybe I did not go as far north as I thought. Although it's very snowy. I'll walk cautiously. I could have turned that into a mission or something if I went back into it and peacefully traded with him again. I'm curious how far north I am, though. Ah, oh, here's a little village in the middle of nowhere. Hunting tribe. Okay. That's where they are. This should be roughly the right direction. Yeah, let's go through this. There he is. All right. Offer gifts, offer gifts. Trade. All right, good enough. Actually, let's just go back in. We know that uh, he's about this way. There we go. Offer gift, offer gift, offer gift. Maze the natives. Trade. Well, we now have one native bearer per man, so we can carry a couple more food. Go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and walk at a moderate speed. Hopefully I don't get too lost here. It's just something I tend to do in games like this. Allow myself to Get a little bit of the exploration bug and mess things up that way. Head back down, I guess, now because uh, we should be able to come across our river. Oh, this might actually be where the boat was. Look at that. All right, so actually, we know there is before we decide to get back where we were going. We know that there was a village here that we were going to go back to on our way back. All right, they're amazed. Offer gifts, offer gifts. Trade. Well, got a bunch of gold. That's not enough. Okay, let's just head back to the ship. We've got enough food and whatnot. We're just going to head further north in our ship. We don't want the king to tell us we're doing poorly when we get back. That's going to be quite a lengthy video. I can't go into that. And you know what? One more time, we're going to come up into this village. I believe it's to the left we're going to need to go. Yes. Oh no! Because I left my sword out, they thought I wanted to fight. I just wanted to walk quickly, guys. 
wanted to walk quickly. Can we leave? There we go. Okay, we left. Well, let's just go. Goodly amount of food. Goodly amount of men. Okay, amount of gold. We haven't gotten over 100 yet. We've got so many goods, we gotta do something with those goods. We gotta find something good to do. Those goods. Let's go. I was gonna say, let's go this way. It might be faster, but clearly this was the wrong plan. Oh, but there is a village there. Hmm. Yeah, we're out of the shallowness into the deep again. Perhaps we'll hook up around the top. Uh, we'll leave. Do you know what? We're gonna leave that village. We're just gonna keep going north. Really thought this was. Really thought this was Newfoundland, though. Could have been wrong. Easily wrong. I'm wrong all the time. There is a village there. Oh, we lost a man's. Alright, let's go ahead. Drop some stuff off. We don't want that much food. Only, only three. Tons of goods. Another hunting tribe. Okay. That's not what I'm trying to do. That's not what I'm trying to do. I just wanted to amaze the natives and walk a little faster. Never works out for me that way. Alright, we've made it here. Can we trade? Oh, the chief wants gifts too. Well, they've got some... Food and some gold. Get out of here. I'm gonna recklessly walk down here. We saw that other village. Hopefully. Oh, the men were running. They can't run any further. Well, that village wasn't too close. But this village is. We'll head to it instead. It's probably the village we've been to already. That slows them down a little bit. Out of the way. Come on, guys. You don't want to die. Don't come at me. Oh, it's because I got my sword out. Put your sword away. Oh, I was just trying to... I got, like, no goods. Alright. If your chief is already gone... This is what's happening. Because I need this food. Well, I might not need it, but I want it. And I was trying to be peaceful about it, but y'all just keep walking into me. That is, I suppose, my chief complaint about this game. That it's so easy to accidentally get into fights. You drop so many goods to try to be nice. Uh, and it just doesn't work out. So we've taken over this thing. Leave ten guys behind to turn it into a fort. We'll take all the gold. Take some food. We'll head north up and around. And get back to our ship that way. I'm going to go around this big forest. How are we doing here? Yeah, we're up somewhere we haven't been before, so... That's something. <laughs> there you go, we found the coast. We'll work our way down the coast. Maybe find a village on our way. Definitely find our ship.
Hunting tribe, okay. Hey okay, guys, you gotta trust us here. Get amazed. All right, all right, back off. I don't want to hurt you. Good, good. All right, so far so good. There he is. Offer gift, trade. All right, not so bad. We've got enough gold that we'll have over 100 gold when we go back. We clearly could go on a much larger expedition though. However, um. I kind of want to trail off this video now and give you guys the chance to play this game more if you want. There we go. I found my way back perfectly. I'm going to go ahead, load everything up, head back to the new world. We won't have to get more goods this time. We're very not full though. So I'm just going to head to the east here perfectly, get out to deeper water. And I'm going to just hit the little turbo button on this to get us back to land real fast. Crowds gather to hear our tales once more. Let's see what they think of us. This time we have left some forts and whatnot, so hopefully... Hey, our overall rating's poor. Aw. Don't want to grant us an audience for being so crappy at the game. Well, let's go ahead and look at the home. Here, map. 8% of land. Oh, it's taking a while to load this. 8% of land, 4% of the river, 7% of natives. And 0 mines and 0 specials. We have 3 missions, however, now. And... You know what? Realistically, I think we might have found... London. Based on the shape and how far north it is. I'm going to take a quick little peek this map. No. Yeah. Maybe. This map is drawn in such a fashion that... Oh, do you know what? I came so close. When I got to the mouth of that river and it said, you can't... I don't know if you can see my cursor. When I got to the little mouth of that river and it said, you can't do an expedition here. If I had gone a little bit to the left, I would have found what seems to be Ottawa. And there's some secrets around here. Darn it. Oh, well. I'm Zerfall. Hopefully you're a little more successful in your exploring. And I hope to catch you again on another Sunday. See you next time.